Hey there and welcome back. Today we want to put an LED matrix into a helmet. Now I named the video Helm Jet, but I'm not that creative, so after I sent this picture to a friend of mine he said it looks like a disco ball, so any naming is welcome. Uh, so leave your ideas in the comments. Now to be transparent, I got that helmet for free because I was voluntarily working as a blade guard in the blade night, which, yeah, should take place this year, but yeah, it's crazy right now, so we'll see. Now, what we are going to do will impact the structure on the helmet, so yeah, do this on your own risk. Now that we've got the boring stuff out of the way, let's get cracking. So, we start by removing the foam and all the stickers because we want to heat the thing up to remove the glue. After that, we remove the styrofoam from the shell with heat, so I used um, hair dryers. Now, it's important to not use tools, as some people say in the internet, because it removes the shell, and yeah, you can see it in the picture, there are some unnecessary scratches that could have been avoided. I wasn't quite sure where the glue is, so I heated up the whole helmet, but you can look for large areas, because the helmet is mass produced and they don't, they just put one huge drop of glue there and then press it together other than um, having more steps in the production line. Now when everything is heated up with a lot of force you can pull the top up and the bottom down to kind of twist the styrofoam out of the shell as you can see in the video. Now, the positioning of the LEDs is quite a problem because we have an elliptic shape. So I try to find lines with the string, for example, or with tape. Uh, what, this is what worked for me. Then I decided that each strip is made up of five LEDs. And the size of those I cut out from a cardboard to have a better idea. Then I put roughly every centimeter one of these um, cutouts and then taped them around the helmet. And now it kind of looks like a fence around a hill. Then I fixed the top and moved the things I didn't like a little bit around until everything looked fine. Now to cut out the styrofoam, we could either use heat, but I don't like the smell of it because it's kind of honeyish. So I went for cutting with these knives and yes, I need to admit they look like the bone breaker Dr. Evil from the action movies, but they are also used for miniature and building stuff. So I first tried to rip the styropor out, which didn't work great because the single balls, which the styrofoam made up, just broke and you didn't get a clean surface, so you need to actually cut this. And I used the knife you can see in the video right now. And now I think the helmet looks like a zebra. The next step is the soldering, and here I have a step by step what needs to be done. So, as you can see in this high quality clip, unfortunately, my hand is a little bit in the way, but okay can explain. So first you need to cut the isolation of the 3.3 volts and ground wires at the top and then you can measure out smaller wires which then connect to the LED stripe and after you've soldered everything you can test this by I used an ESP8266 and the fast LED library but more on that in the next part and then when the strip works Remove the cover and glue the strip in place. Now that all the soldering is done, which admittedly took a really, really long time, we can put the support back in place and slide the helmet in. Now, before we look at the final result, I just thought that like in football, for example, there's the MVP, the most valuable player. Um, in Formula E, there's the fan boost and Formula 1 drive of the day, etc. So I thought, why not the MVT, the most valuable tool? So I went with that knife, uh, which you can see right now from this Dr. Evil set. And I think I used this the most and I used it for cut the isolation and for example, which I think was the biggest problem, the cutting holes into the styrofoam. And I also like that whichever angle you 
grip the knife you always have something to cut so yeah that's the MVT now we can let for example the LED wander around a little bit as you can see right now and then I just try to light all LEDs in red green and blue and unfortunately there's a problem when we go to the blue because it's um, absorbed by the green shell but I'm sure it's not that much of a problem but to the software part like which LED lights and the graphical user interface will come in the next part I hope you liked it and if you did then please like subscribe comment ideas maybe things I could improve stay curious and bye